Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to carry on with this virtual analog synth, obviously called the beard. And a massive part of synth architecture is a filter. So I'm creating a group. I'm just moving that group over. And I'm going to put this filter smack bang over the front of this beard. Because every guy with a beard needs a filter smack bang over the front of his mouth. A filter would start with a menu because the menu would define what kind of filter we've got access to. And Hellion 6 has quite a few different types. So I'm going to get this menu and drag it straight up here in the middle. And I'm going to name this beard type. Okay, so there we've named it. We need to assign a parameter. Um, so we're not actually in focus with the synth zone on the right hand side there. So I need to click on that synth zone. Just remember if you get lost with the parameters to make sure the focus is correct. And let's go down to the filter and now we just drag it in. If you can't drag it in, you can also drag it straight into the value section and immediately it's assigned. Okay, so that's working, that's great. As we've done all along, now it's a matter of just finding the right controls for the right parameters. Um, this one can be cut off. I think, and we can just copy and paste that straight over onto the right hand side there. And of course, what else goes with cutoff? Resonance. So cutoff is reducing the harmonic and resonance is amplifying the frequency at the cutoff point, which gives us that kind of wah effect or um, almost like a feedback type quality. So I'm naming these guys. Um, but once again, you'll see that the font is a different color. And in the first video, we figured out that that green font is a lot better where it pops through a lot more. So let's just reinforce this again by going up to the template and clicking on the E button and then finding the label. And there it is. And then going down to the actual font folder and let's just select the anima folder and then go with the green font. Back over in the second page, let's drag the parameters. So the cutoff and the resonance inside of the filter folder onto those parameters and give it a little check. That's all working great. I think by now you're starting to get the idea. It's finding the correct parameters that you need to assign something to, making sure you've got the appropriate control, which we get from the browser down the bottom, making sure you name it and making sure it's all linked. Um, so we'll speed up this section, but the whole idea for me to have this, um, this filter section is because I want to send the filter section or have the filter section be controlled by its own envelope, which we're going to put on the next page. And also I want to make sure that I've got an LFO or two LFOs that I can use to control things like pitch or even, you know, the cutoff or the resonance and that sort of thing. So I want this synth to be basic, but I want it to be kind of flexible because I think... Hellion 6 deserves, and well, the beard deserves that kind of treatment. I've not really put any pitch controls in here other than the actual oscillator itself, but I am putting a control in here or a parameter in here that allows pitch to be controlled by its own envelope, which I'm also going to put on the next page. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I kind of like having control over the pitch using an envelope. Over on the right hand side, I'm creating a new group and I'm just dragging it out to cover this blank area here because this is where I'm going to build the LFO or low frequency oscillator. Once again, let's go over to beard speed here because we know what we've got to do. We just go to the sound editor page, have a look at what's involved in an LFO or low frequency oscillator. Make sure we've got the menus and also the knobs and the switches correct. Connect the parameters, copy and paste and reconnect the second LFO to its own parameters. Now, once again, it's about routine. We put everything into its own group. Like I said, there's a lot going on here. I'm not super happy with the layout of the page, but everything's there. And of course I can tweak this as I go along and make sure everything's lined up. Um, but in general, I think that's a good start. Now we can save as once again, save it logically. And we're really towards the end of the process here. In the next video, we're going to look at creating envelopes and a quick effects page. And then of course, it's time to export it so that we can share it with the world and other people can use our instrument.